part two. I was gone two months away from home. I was like, man, fuck that shit. It won't like no homesick shit. Because I was just fed up. You get what I'm saying? Like that trust shit. That's why I was like, man, if you ain't got no trust, I don't even get in no relationship. And sometimes it's bad to fuck too because when you fuck somebody, the feelings gonna come. I'm just saying, but so one particular day after all the issues and problems and arguments and all of that shit had made it went on and shit. I think I up I called one of my buddies this to come get me. This motherfucker drove a whole hour some change to come get me, right? She seen me packing my shit, bro. She broke down fire. Out of all of the relationships I ever been in, like I keep telling y'all, no one never showed me that side of affection or something. You get what I'm saying? But she was the only girl that showed some type of affection. Like she was really affected by me. Like she really broke down crying. And like she seen that I was really ready to go. She just gave me a hug and shit, a real tight hug. My whole shirt was wet as hell. I'm way taller than her. I was, I was standing over her. She was all right, crying like a motherfucker. Now all that shit with her. So, you know, you kind of just sit there and rock with her and shit like that. And she can feel you slowly pushing her away and shit. We had got a, um, a little Yorkie poodle, too. We named her loopy because of her lupus you get what i'm saying so we named the little yorkie poodle um loopy you get what i'm saying but that shit hurt me too yo because i had got real attached with that damn dog and shit too that little puppy and shit and we was like a little family and shit too like that little puppy wouldn't do shit without me you get what i'm saying like it was more attached to me than her but you know what i'm saying like to this day, she still got loopy too, yo. Like, honestly. And I be in my petty ways and shit because she be reaching out on blue moves to me on Messenger. And I'll leave the message unseen or I'll just leave a fucked up ass comment like, the hell are you reaching out to me for? Y'all know how I am. I'm big on that high 80 shit. But she be, she, she used to reach out late, like, I'm lonely type shit. Can you come out? She wanted that good wood. Like, honestly, at the end of the day, she wanted that good Sir Early wood. And it was some in me that really affected her. Like, honestly, she really cried. Ain't no female ever crying. And if they had any type of affection towards me for leaving out of relationship or whatever, they never showed me. So how can I speak highly of you if you never showed me that, that I meant something to you? So she did that shit, man, and like, I be sitting back thinking like, yo, out of all the dealers and relationships, who would I honestly rekindle something with, or just try to start a friendship with, and I used to be like, man, hell no, nobody, but it's it's two, it's another female and shit too, and that's another story, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> oh, excuse me, but I think she ended up dealing with some type of relationship or something. She she won't tell me, but I be seeing her out and about and shit with a nigga with the last few years and shit. But she she won't tell me, but she'll reach out to me when I reach out to her. Put it like that. I'm always switching my numbers and shit, so I shoot her a text, give her you know the letter, give her the nickname that I gave her, and she'll know it's me. Then we correspond that way. We friends on Facebook and all of that, so she got down be liking some of my shit. So. But she won't tell me that she in a relationship, and that's cool, because I be knowing a whole lot of shit about everybody and shit, just like they think they know about me, but I really be knowing about people. But back to old girl and shit, man, like, honestly, if I can build some type of goddamn, like, knock the wall down and just dig deep and find out, like, yo, 
where the where's the root of all of this little this little negativity I got towards relationship. You get what I'm saying? Because for one, I used to be a dog. So I know how it's easy to convince somebody that they're the only one. Like you being all monogamous and shit and the whole time you flirting and courting and doing all of this around town. You get what I'm saying? So that's another reason why trust be fucked up with me because I know how easy it was for me to persuade somebody or convince somebody. But yeah, I just want to goddamn just start giving a little bit more of me on here and stuff. I used to share a lot through StreamYard and stuff, but I'm switching my content up, making sure that they don't flag me and strike and do this and that. So how can you flag me if I'm telling stories of me? I ain't being negative, and even if I was negative, I'm not saying no derogatory terms and shit to the point where like, yo, okay, hate crime. You get what I'm saying? But yeah, man. Yeah, salute to her, man. She was the only girl, the female that I dealt with, yo. That motherfucker got three degrees, man. Went to two different, um, went to a university in the co- well, two two different um universities. Did some with herself, yo, and motherfucker honestly cried for me when I was leaving. You get what I'm saying? Like honestly, motherfuckers will be on shit like I don't hear motherfuckers. They already dealing with somebody any goddamn way. That's why I be telling y'all it ain't all about the looks and shit. It's not all about the looks, man. Like, honestly, I've been telling y'all that shit. If it was, I have you now. One of y'all now watching my shit. Females. I ain't hard to find. Y'all can hop in my comments. Y'all see my email be up there. But that's a different story. But yeah, man. She the only female that that I touch. No, I ain't gonna say that I touch that. I felt like motherfucking showed me that she was touched by us having problems in the relationship. Cause you know when you have problems, bitches be petty and shit. You get what I'm saying? They'll cut you off, not answer you for a whole day, not answer texts. And if you living with them, these motherfuckers will be in another part of the house the whole time walking past you all day long. Ain't nobody got time for that shit. Not speaking and shit. But she cried when she seen me like, yo, I'm ready to go. My whole shirt was red. And she was a very good looking girl too. That's why I said it ain't all about looks. Her motherfuckers have emotions and shit too. I ain't ready to be getting in no type of goddamn dealing. On a relationship cause of looks. Shit, I want to be goddamn secure with my goddamn.